Okay, day 24, meal number two. Now, I've been working away on this butter, and I've been trying to convince Abby over there that this would be really good for her resume. What do you think, Abby? Making butter? She's busy, too busy talking to Silvana. Okay, me and Bubby. It's me and Bubby all the way. I tried to make Abby the vice president in charge of butter making along with Bubby, but she thought she had her own ideas because she's a teenager. Sometimes you just gotta let teenagers have their own ideas about stuff. So, okay, meal number two is comprised of um, two eggs in Silvana's Clever Pepper uh, kind of fork. I have in about half a cup of the potatoes, as we talked about, and I have about half a cup of uh, mixed vegetables that are cooked, and that's about maybe not even half a teaspoon, maybe a quarter teaspoon of avocado oil. I'm going to have a couple, probably four more slices of the cheese, and that's going to be meal, comprised meal number two. Now, um, I noticed I'm feeling surprisingly good. I'm wondering if this is because of the hydration from the soups or if it's from the, the, the many extra nutrients from the soup. You know, when you're eating a soup that has every color of the rainbow, like we have like every vegetable in there, except for fennel, which is the loneliest vegetable in the whole area. So I think today, later, if I have a chance, I might, know, I might go check in on the fennel and just get some fennel. Because everybody's walking by fennel, they don't even know what it is. But it, it's, as we've discussed, it's a super kind of like licorice -y tasting kind of a thing. And, Fennel plus leeks, which is like a gigantic onion um, sitting there minding its own business. I might include some stuff like um, some dandelion. Uh, you know, there's some dandelion has some medicinal properties to it. it can be very helpful for uh, you know our liver and our kidneys. And so I'm looking to pick up nutrients from all these different greens, particularly ones that I haven't had in a little while. And uh, and uh, so we have a pretty good diverse soup going. And uh, we have another soup over here that Silvano is working on. And this is onions and peppers and that um, salami from Cat's Deli in New York City is like right here. So we're gonna create kind of a broth. I'm stirring with a big knife. It seems crazy a little bit, even to me. Okay, it's like, ah, I'm making soup with a knife. Who would do such a thing? Okay, I'm uh, going to put the knife down. All right, so there we have it, day 24, meal number two. Here, these guys are having their delicious treats. Savannah's having her breakfast. Abby is having something that's really way off of my plan, and I'm not even tempted. Right? What are you having, Abby? A bagel. A bagel with some cream cheese. Okay, not even tempting to me at all, not even slightly. I'm, I'm amazed by that. Typically, I'm going to be tempted by the flavor of the cream cheese and the bagel and the kind of the whole thing. Um, no, I'm pretty good. I think I have enough that's giving my body the fuel that it needs to get to where I want to go. And um, so, hey, using food as our medicine, using food as a means of connecting to our inner and outer self, the world around us, all plant life and people too. So, all right, I'll see you in a few hours.